Let me find my paperwork here. I've got everything screwed up. I'm not on. Crap it on that. I was looking for this other thing and I got that messed up. Turn that, hmm. turn that over. Yep, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. <coughs> First thing we'll do is review the minutes from July the 19th, and <clears throat> they're right at the bottom of the page. Any questions or Deletions, corrections, etc. Motion approved minutes. Motion by Commissioner Burton. Do I hear a second? Second by Commissioner Clarity. Any other discussion on the, the minutes? All in favor say aye. Minutes stand approved. We do need to elect officers for this coming physical year. Mr. Burton. Motion to uh, leave same officers as they were. Motion made to leave officers as they were. I hear a second to that. Got a second by Mr. Clarity. And the officers were, I guess I was chairman, and Shane, I believe you was a yes. assistant or vice chairman. Any other nominees? We got a motion, so I guess we'll vote on the motion. All in favor of the motion, let it be known as Lee and I. Aye. Any opposed? So moved. Officers stay as they are. Uh, on the back side, we will review purchasing report for first quarter. I can see it. I ain't hardly got enough light. Happy Place County Buildings Custodial. Might be a good idea to turn it on. Thank you, Amy. Uh, this is under contract. Look like they're almost the same as they've been a billion. Any comments on that one? It's under contract. Artist Networks, we got a considerable more on that and it gives a definition, mayor's office information, technology support, sheriff's department, uh, technology support, including new equipment. Jail information technology support. That's under contract too. Ms. Amy, did you, or Amber, did you sign in? Okay, thank you, hon. <clears throat> Any questions on that one? Boundary Medical, EMS Medical Supplies. It's a little more than what it's been a been, but Probably needed more supplies than they've been needing. It's that first column budget amount that you it is what was spent last quarter, uh, the first quarter of 2021. So it's just an annual comparison. So to answer your question, Mr. Jewell. So let's see, we're down to common tech, sheriff's equipment, department equipment, new vehicles, or VHF radios. How many did we get, Amy? Four? Uh, currently, this shows just one vehicle that has been purchased in the first quarter of this year. I believe there's two more that are coming down the pike. And the one below it, Ford of Murfreesboro, <clears throat> Sheriff Department new patrol cars. And up above that is just equipment, is that correct? All that equipment didn't go into the car. There's other equipment included. Um, 
but some of the equipment that went into the Ford of Murfreesboro purchase is included. Does that make sense? <laughs> Any questions on that, gentlemen? Cars and equipment, that's all I can do. you. All right, we move on to foreseeable medical services. And these are coroners, autopsies, examinations. Are any of these uh, core civic? Uh, several of them are. I do not remember how many, uh, but they are uh, reimbursing on the timely matter. Parts from food land, basically jail, food supplies, senior citizen center, CARES Act funding for the groceries for elderly citizens. It's down quite a bit, which is good. Any particular reason for that or do you know? It, it's up quite a bit. Um, we did not have the CARES Act uh, funding in place this time last year. You have a comment, Gary? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I think the one we're looking at now is up quite a bit. The next one down is the one that's last year's, if I'm looking at it right. I thought the left side's the first quarter of 21 and the right side, <clears throat> Uh, explain it again, Amy. So the first column is the first quarter of 2021, which would be uh, last year, uh, basically 2020. Uh, the uh, shaded column is our current quarter that we are looking at for this year. I got a question, Mr. Chairman. What, uh, what, uh, what, how much of the senior center did uh, 11,000 did that cover with the senior center? So they are uh, granted 37.50 a month to spend on senior citizens. Mm -hmm. Roughly. Of course, Kimbrough Oil Company, that's not under contract, but my understanding the mayor goes back and forth with different suppliers on that. Any questions on that one? Next one, we're under contract with the local government corporation. Uh, Mayor's office, soft, software license renewal, trustee software, clerk and master, circuit court software. That seems like a lot of money, but I guess it's, it's the way it is. It's a one-time annual expense for all of those departments. Yeah, it is. That's a whole year in it, Amy. And we had a municipal equipment repair, solid waste truck, $21,406. The 7490, is that what we anticipated it to be? No, sir, that's what was spent this first quarter of this current fiscal year. Okay, thank you. Empowerment Energy, that's another one. I think where the mayor buys gasoline. So we spent approximately a third of that. Roofex Incorporated. Sheriff had a roof put on a sheriff station. Did we bid that out or how did we go about that? It was bid out. Did bid it out. Okay. 
Safe Industries, Fire Department Gear and Equipment. Hey, Jerry, I had a question. Pardon? I had a, had a question, a couple of them back. What yeah. is the difference in how they were, how they're labeled the Kimbro oil that is coupled with Parman and then Parman that is coupled with Kimbro further down below? So those are the two companies. And there's also a third one that never wins the bid. But every couple of weeks, we send bids out to the fuel oil companies. And that's how we get our fuel in. And whoever wins the lowest bid is, of course, who we get it from. Sometimes it's Kimbro, sometimes it's Parman. That's why I have on there to combine those two amounts. And that's how much we're spending on uh, diesel and gasoline. Does that make sense? No, no, it just depends on who wins the bid. We'll, we'll get both types from the same company. It just, it depends on who wins the bid that week. Yes. Obviously, fuel prices are escalating greatly. Um, I feel like we're going to have to look at this as far as budget amendment down the road. Uh, this is about sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars more than what was budgeted, or what more than what we spent same quarter last year. So, uh, do you remember what our total budget amount was? Oh. Um, which out of you talking about, Noah? You think we're doing, Mayor, now is it going roughly double what we were paying a year ago? Is that a safe assumption? It's went up, and I got, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, fuel gasoline has went up about 42.1% since September of last year. So that's, you're seeing right in there, it just depends on what it is bid week by week, but we're probably seeing somewhere between 40, 45% increase in our fuel prices. That, that's one that we're, we just need to realize early on in the year that we're probably gonna have to make some adjustments to it is, was what my point was. It's probably gonna be more than what we've got budgeted, all right? I right, was talking about the sheriff roof at the sheriff station that was bid out. Safe Industries, Fire Department Gear and Equipment, Smith County Solid Waste. Is that one up uh, as much as it looks to me like it is? It's went up a little, a little under two thousand dollars, and that's due to increase in uh, tonnage going over to the Smith County landfill. So we've got more residents moving in the county. We've got more waste going to the Smith County landfill. So we're just shipping more tonnage out there. The contract rate did not change. We're stayed. We're locked in that rate for I think the next three years, but we did have an increase in tonnage. Do we have any idea of what that's going to cost us for the whole year? Uh, right now, we should be under what we budgeted for the year, even with this little bit of increase. We still should be under what we budgeted for the year because I think we came in under budget last year. So we don't. Right now, we don't anticipate having to increase that. Well, Tri County Electric electricity is a little bit more. There again, electricity, I think they had a 5%. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Truck County was 5% increase. I believe it's somewhere around in there. So uh, I'm not sure. It's the reason it's a little more than. Yeah, so we're, we, you know, we can expect that to be a little more, maybe even than what we budgeted for, because that was announced. So that the gauge may hit right. us a little bit more. And, and we were at a thing where TVA or a conference where TVA was spoke and said they're trying to, they, they plan for increases. So they're trying to keep that down as far as an increase to all their services. So you are going to see an increase, but they're really trying to keep it to a minimum. Tri County EMC fiber, it's like it's right on target under contract. Wise foreign safety equipment. 
And we bought a new R8 fire brush truck. Is that the amount we had to give for that? Yes, that is the total amount. And uh, that's actually with a discount. We had an early pay uh, discount offer and took it up. They have not received it, no. I am not aware of one. Are there any other questions on the purchasing report that's in front of you? Any more comments? Any other business to come before us? Any public comments? Not I'd turn I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion by Commissioner Russell. Second by Mr. Clarity. Not debatable. All in favor say aye. We stand adjourned. <laughs>